It is quite a track record. For four decades, the transformation of an old miser has drawn thousands to the Goodman Theater. We are talking about Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol, Two's Got Your Tickets, CBS2 Entertainment reporter Vince Gerasoli has a look at the origins of this Chicago holiday classic. God bless us, everyone. We all know that Tiny Tim said that, and the Goodman Theater's been sharing that blessing since 1978. You will be haunted by three spirits. Is that the chance and hope you mentioned? The tale of three ghosts transforming the stingy heart of Ebenezer Scrooge at Christmas is the first stage production many Chicago families see together. But A Christmas Carol was a risky proposition. From the set of the production, we spoke with Goodman Executive Director Rock Schulfer, who was there for that very first opening night. Rock, can you take me back to that very first A Christmas Carol for the Goodman in, I think it was 1978? It was 1978. Yes, you are correct. We had uh, been discussing for about a year what to do with December because we couldn't seem to get people to come out to the theater. Uh, we said, we should, maybe we should do something with a holiday theme. And the then artistic director, Gregory Mosier, and I had both grown up on Alistair Sim in A Christmas Carol. And we said, we should do something like A Christmas Carol. At that time, it was the biggest production that Goodman had ever done. Only a couple of other theaters around the country were doing it. And it was kind of viewed as a risky proposition because it had to run for a couple, three years in order to pay back the initial capitalization. So it opened in December of 1978 with William J. Norris uh, giving a brilliant performance as Ebenezer Scrooge. And here we are many decades later. Did you ever imagine that it would be this enduring? No. Over the years, it's it's gone from producing a play to really being the custodian of a great Chicago holiday tradition. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but I believe far before Hamilton, the Goodman was using diverse casting with The Christmas Carol. Yes, that is true. Uh, in 1984, we began the policy of colorblind casting, non-traditional casting. It's been one of the joys of the production over the course of time. We spend as much or more time on Christmas Carol as anything else that we do. We never take it for granted. What I especially enjoy is that even though the story's a classic, the Goodman always manages to tweak the production just a bit to keep it fresh. A Christmas Carol is playing at the Goodman Theater through December 31st. Remember, two's got your ticket. I'm Vince Girasoli, CBS2 News.